So Teenage Dick is about a high school, all-American high school, where politics and popularity and social standing all are encompassed into this world. And it's about how different people deal with it. And there's also a really strong thread of disability and how that affects two of the main characters. When I first started at the Don Mar, um, I'd only been in the job a couple of weeks, or in fact, as um, designate. So I was beginning to read plays. And Teenage Dick is a script that came across my desk fairly, very early on. And I thought it was incredibly funny, thrillingly funny, and then very challenging. Um, and at the same time, my new casting director, Anna Cooper, was meeting, doing general meets with actors. And she had met Daniel um, and sent me a little text saying, can you just uh, swing downstairs and meet Daniel? And I met Daniel and suddenly there was the idea for a project. Um, so we did a reading and it was thrilling. Um, and it just felt, it was really important to me in my first season to, to discuss who could be a lead at the Donmar. And for us, us you know, as a theatre culture, as a society, to really examine our preconceptions about who is the hero of a play. I mean, what really excites me about um, this play is not only is it hopefully going to be incredibly fun and entertaining, but it also, for me, as a disabled person and as a disabled actor, it feels like it has great purpose. Because um, what we're exploring, and I hope it, it feels really meaningful, and I feel like we don't often see disabled bodies on stages, especially to disabled bodies and, and different points of view and different lived experiences of disability. And I really hope for able-bodied audiences, it can challenge and open their minds and hearts to have more empathy and understanding for the disabled experience, but also for disabled audiences. I really hope that um, it makes them feel less alone and makes, and the fact that such an amazing theatre and such amazing stages as the Donmar is, you know, putting disabled people and disabled bodies and disabled stories on their stages in an authentic way, it feels really meaningful and powerful and hopeful. Actually, a few weeks ago, a few weeks before we started rehearsals, me, Daniel and Michael Longhurst, we all sort of, we just got together one morning, we decided to read Richard III to kind of see what are the parallels and all of this. And um, yeah, I think my clue, our writer, just... Uh, just decided to have a bit of a party with it and uh, we were like oh so that's not related to that's not oh okay so he's just having a really good time so in terms of like direct <laughs> parallels of like this character represents this person it's really free and open which is great for us because we don't have to kind of think about the academic Shakespeare and how to sort of honour that because that's boring um but uh but in terms of the the big themes of you know richard and his place in the world and how he sees people and how people see him and you know does he become this self-fulfilling prophecy which is you know this loner loner this tyrant this troll um but we definitely get to see much more vulnerability to him which shakespeare doesn't offer and the women speak more which is really good this is actually my first play so I'm super excited to say that my first plays at the Don Mar and even more excited to work with such an incredible cast and uh, artistic director. All of those things were incredible on their own, but to have such a solid and wonderful script as well made it just extra special. And I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm really proud to say this is my first play. Hopefully it won't be obvious when you see it that it's my first play. <laughs>